Good morning. Okay. Try to make this so it doesn't let go. Essie! <clears throat> Hi. Here I am with any makeup on. I just washed my face uh, with the three in one cleanser. I thought I brought it out here, but I didn't. Um, normal to oily. And I put on um, some anti wrinkle treatment, just a little dot of this, and I rubbed it in um, mostly through my cheeks and my forehead. <laughs> and then here's the normal to oily um, moisturizer. I just put a tiny bit of this on. I don't use a lot of the moisturizer during the day because I feel like I get really oily. So, um, next I am going to, I'm just going to sort of speed through this really fast so it doesn't take forever. I did record this yesterday and it was like 40 minutes long because I chatted so much. So, I'm going to try to do things and talk at the same time today. But this is the makeup, full face makeup application that everyone asked for, or I guess voted for. Next I'm putting on the Lash Extend, it's upside down, Lash Extend to make your lashes grow and it's clear, it dries, and it just helps. I've really noticed like, especially my bottom lashes are getting really long. Elsie's down here playing. Okay, and then I'm going to use the volume Izer, lip volumizer. This is awesome. It is, um, helps retain your moisture up to 50 more percent. It's just really, really moisturizing if you feel like you are having trouble going through the exfoliating process. Okay, she keeps hitting the table, so we're moving, sorry. Um, if you feel like it, you're going slowly through the exfoliation process, that will help it move on faster because it's very, very moisturizing. Next, I'm going to use a tiny bit of the medium, which is almost gone. Color correcting tinted um, moisturizer. This has Cetiplex in it. Um, Cetiplex is a cellular renewal system. I'll <laughs> see. This is going to be a real rocky video. Sorry, guys. She's in a locker running around. You can see I have a little redness today. I did a. I spray tanned myself last night. So my skin's kind of a little irritated from putting it on my face. Because <laughs> I have sensitive skin, but it's okay. It looks pretty. I was as white as that box back there <laughs> yesterday. <clears throat> I was using the light tinted moisturizer yesterday. <laughs> Medium today. Great thing about the tinted moisturizer is it color corrects to your skin tone. So you can wear light or medium. I've been wearing medium pretty much all summer with my fake tanner, so I don't get any sun tan. Mostly because I just burn and I get freckles. And I want to be here to watch my children grow up and see their children hopefully. So I stay out of the sun and I use fake tanner. The fake tanner I have on right now is called Tan Wise. It's awesome. It is a brown color. It's not orange or, yeah, it's not orange. It has kind of a green undertone base. I really like the Norvell Venetian as well. I go between those two. tried the self tanner by Synergist once. I didn't love it. I felt like on my skin it didn't turn a very um, pretty tan color. And it got on my sheets really bad. And this. It was nice though. It felt really moisturizing. It felt like I didn't have anything on which is really nice if you are do self tanners you'll know that that sticky feeling is not fun. Hi. Hi. What are you doing? Give you a toy. Oh, here, bug. Here. Where's your puppy? Phoebe. 
She likes to chase the baby. <laughs> so I'm gonna make, make a mixture of Dewy, which is my regular pale foundation. It's a little too light with my tan on. You can see how that's kind of evening out my redness, the color correcting. I'm just kind of red right here for some reason. <clears throat> but it's okay. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of this in the back of my hand. Just a dot. One pump, I guess. And then this is the Cafe uh, I don't know. A loot uh, latte? A latte, maybe? <laughs> this is pretty dark, so I'm just gonna do half a pump. If I can get it out. Half a pump. Mix that together on my hand with a sponge to kind of make custom make a shade that matches better. I'm using the Cosmetics Beauty Blender or sponge. I don't know what it's called. It's orange. It's like this. <laughs> I get the two pack. I have a two pack for me and a two pack for my makeup case. I really love using sponges. Um, I tried one of those silicone ones. No. <laughs> it just like smeared it everywhere and didn't blend it in and didn't go into my skin very well. Maybe I need to give it a better shot. Quite a few times, but I didn't really love it. <coughs> so I'm really just pushing this into my skin. That's how you're gonna get that flawless, flawless um, skin. If you're gonna take your time at anything, take your time at putting on your foundation because this is gonna be your canvas for your skin. And then you're not gonna have to worry about it looking cakey or packed on because that's not a cute look. <laughs> this is buildable. Oh yeah, that looks nice. This is buildable so you can make it even, I guess, more coverage. Oh, yeah, that's the word. Sorry. It's early. <laughs> you can put more coverage by adding more. <clears throat> I'm really just pushing in the product. I kind of rub it down here on my neck to make sure I don't have any lines. But push, push, push. That's how you get that flawless finish. And that's a really nice coverage, I think. It's a little dark. Oh, if I back up, it looks fine. I'm like right here in the lights. <laughs> Okay, Ugh, sorry, allergies. Next, I'm gonna take the white concealer. Um, Phoebe, she rings a bell when she has to on. <laughs> Little dot. Really light hands, you don't wanna rub or pull under your eye area because that will cause wrinkles damage to your skin and break down your collagen. We don't want that. So I'm just doing a light touch with patting it under there. I'm going to take just a tiny bit more. Barely anything. And do that on my forehead a little bit. And then bring it just kind of down. I don't bring it all the way down my nose. Some people do. I don't really like that look. And I'm putting a little bit on my Chin. Hi, baby. Hi, Els. Hi. Hi. Okay. I'm gonna put everything away as I go. Taking the beauty sponge again and blending that in by just pushing. <coughs> oh, excuse me. said what 20 times yesterday as I made this video that I was tired. <laughs> I was tired, but I didn't need to say that 20 times. That's why I'm recording it, re-recording it, because I was kind of a baby downer yesterday. I'll see what's up the night before. 2.30 to 4.30 almost. So was I. But last night, we were just up for just a little bit, right? Yeah. 
happier today? Oh, are you tired? Oh, push the button. Oh, good job. Here you go. Okay, we got some music going on. Where's that dog? Oh, she just wants to go chase a squirrel. Okay, um, I would use the green to conceal any redness, but as you can see, my foundation took care of that. Don't really have any zits. Um, knock on wood <laughs> right now because I usually put the, just a tiny bit of this and that helps take care of any redness so don't have to use that today but I really love that green concealer as well I use it a lot on clients um, a lot of times too I will use this for blending in my under eye area next I'm going to take this um, setting powder I have used the um, Senegence one before. I have one for sale, um, but I just ordered this stuff because I heard good reviews about it. Uh, Sashi, Sasha, Buttercup Setting Powder in light. It's very yellowy. <laughs> I'm gonna use this dome brush. Uh, it doesn't have anything on it. I don't know what it is. It's like a little dome. It's by Sonia Kasha from Target. Taking a little bit of this powder and pushing it in under my eye. This is gonna help set everything. The nice thing about the um, foundation and concealers is they don't feel heavy at all, which I love. They don't set in creases or fine lines or wrinkles, which I also love. I don't want that. <laughs> So this is just helping set everything. This is helping set in some of those wrinkles and my pores a little better too. So I'm really just pushing it into my skin. You don't want to rub. Just push it in. Yeah, I like that. I had the darker shade. <clears throat> But it was a little too dark. <laughs> this is the buttercup shade. So this would be somebody who was like really tan. So that'll be nice for when I do clients that are like sun gods. <laughs> Unlike me. My big tan. But I really like this light setting powder. <clears throat> and I'm going to take this fluffy brush and just kind of... Um, this is not a fluffy brush. I'm sorry. It's a stippling brush. Blend everything in. Blend that extra away. This will help my powders go on really well, too. And set everything. Yeah. It feels like I don't have anything on my skin, which is key to me. I like that. I will take the toasted rose today. Right here. Nice little button on the head. I put a little on the back of my hand. There's already foundation there, but you can't see it because it's blended so nicely. Put a little bit on the back of my hand, tiny bit, just to drop. What's wrong? Hi. Hi. She's fine. <laughs> here you go, here you go, here you go. You can play with the brush. Ooh, I love makeup brushes. <laughs> so I'm taking this, another stippling brush. Um, I don't know where I got this one. Probably Target. Just grabbing a little bit of the product and blending it onto my skin. Circular motions and going back towards my ear on the top of my cheekbone. That's how you get that. Sorry, I'm moving the table now. That looks natural blush. This is how she's been lately. She just is like, I want you to pick me up all the time, Mom. <gasps> Mommy's trying to make a video. You're fine. Ooh. <gasps> Better 
blanket or something so she stopped making that noise. Okay, she's entertained now. All right, so that's the blush. Um, it's nice and sheen. I do take a tiny bit of this mineral um, blush too. I like to set my liquids or my creams with powders. They do turn into a powder, but they, I mean, they stay well. They're just kind of still a little tacky. So I just like to set them with a little powder. Nothing much. Um, this is pretty much the same shade. But that just helps like insurance for me, I feel like. It'll help keep it staying all day. So just hardly anything. I got this in my Ipsy bag. Uh, Bella Pierre Cosmetics color mm, Desert Rose. Hi. Okay, next we'll go move on to eyes. I'm going to use the Candlelight. It's a really pretty just vanilla -y shade. I told you guys in my last video that people... People that we can use it as a concealer as well. Oh, I waxed my eyebrows too last night. They're so much better. So I rub that in and then I kind of push it, pat it in because I want it to be a little darker because I'm going to do just like a matte shadow look and I want a little brightness right here. You see how like much coverage that does for my eye? Love this. Love this. This is like my favorite. So if you had a little zit, you could take this and just go doot and cover it up. I don't have any for once, seriously. Surprisingly. I've always taken care of my skin though. I feel like my skin is very important to me. Maybe it's because I do have such sensitive skin that I have always taken care of it because I can't just use anything on it or it breaks out or turns red and I'm happy to report after 12 years of using only Rebichage as the skincare line we carry at my salon which I love still and I use some of the products still to this day some of the night creams and stuff um, I've never broke out from any of those products but I have never broken out so far from any of the Cynogen's products so doing good in my book so candlelight all over the lid next I'm going to take a little bit of mocha java which is this neutral brown and put it right there on my crease and then I'm just gonna blend that in blend it in blend 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 so as you can see I don't have much time to get ready anymore because I've got this little cute monkey hi <laughs> all right so this is a really quick look I can probably do this in 20 minutes Maybe a little longer sometime, depending on how the eyeliner goes. You know how that goes, girls. some puffs and then we'll feed you your breakfast okay next I'm gonna take the color granite it's a brown and just do a tiny little line like I kind of go from my corner here to my brow that's what I do then I take this dome brush you want this Oh, silly baby. Tiny little circles. Because I wanted to concentrate the color, keep the intensity. Phoebe's growling at people walking by our house. 
keep the intensity so I don't want to like blend it away. So I'm just doing tiny little circles right here in a little V. Just like that. All right, take a little more, do this side. So the great thing about these shadow senses is they don't move. They're waterproof, they're smudge proof. So they don't come off until you take them off, which is pretty awesome. You don't have to worry about it fading away or if you rub your eyes which you shouldn't, because that's bad. Oh wow, I look like a weirdo, sorry guys. <laughs> I'm looking in the mirror behind the phone. But yeah, so you shouldn't be rubbing your eyes because that causes wrinkles and sagginess. But if you do, you don't have to worry because your eyeshadow will stay in place. So it's a cream to liquid formulation. Next, I'm going to take the color Onyx and this little brush and do my eyeliner. Get up here in the real thing. Okay, so I just kind of take the tip and get it for the product. Wipe it away at the same time. I don't want a ton of product. Hey, what are you doing, monkey monkey? <gasps> Hi. Oh, here. Uh, hold up. Hold up. Sorry, guys. <coughs> oh, oh yum, 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 yum. Okay. Doing eyeliner thing now. Oh, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> So I just line top of my lid first. <laughs> oh wow. Hi. Who is there? Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So as you can see, oh, I got a little on my bottom here. I gotta wipe that off before it dries. <laughs> if I go over the top of it, it smears it away. So you kind of have to like let it dry. So it's kind of a lot like, oh, careful. A lot like uh, lip scents in that way. <laughs> if it's wet, um, when you're trying to do like a line, it'll wipe away. So kind of let it dry and then go back in. Since I made that line, I've already kind of started my wing for myself. I'm gonna pause and do the next one because it takes obviously a little longer and this is getting along. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Took my hair down too. <laughs> and I put on some mascara. There's eyeshadow look. Pretty simple. Took only a few minutes. Next I'm gonna show you how I do my brows quick. Um, I do color my brows. So they're actually a little darker than this. But you can see they're pretty sparse. So they just need a little love. So I use Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Home in the color chocolate. And I take a little bit of a little brush and then I wipe it off on the cap. So it's not too much. Oh, here you go. And then I just go underneath my eyebrow first. I just kind of follow the shape. 
Holy moly! Someone is cranky. <laughs> oh, just finding your voice, are uh, you? A hole. And I'll see. Can you say hi? Hi. This is uh, how my daughter talks. So I'm just kind of um, lightly going in the direction my hair grows. And then bringing this up right here because these go straight up. You can do as thick or as light as you want with your eyebrows. It's your choice. Everybody's different what they like. Whenever I do people's eyebrows, I always ask them how they do them. And then I go lighter usually and then they'll tell me if they want more. <laughs> Because some people get freaked out when you fill on their eyebrows for them if they aren't used to it or not used to it. So there's one. You want that? Here, and some more yogurt. Yogurt. <gasps> Yummy. <clears throat> Do the other side. Do the same thing. It really helps that I color my brows. Um, and keep them waxed because... It's just easy just to follow the shape. And I do my own. Also, I let other people touch my eyebrows, and let's just say I'm always happier when I do it myself. <laughs> I see you're moving the camera. Now. This is my life. <laughs> yes. We try to multitask, don't we? So let me finish this up quick here. What do you think, honey? Hi. Hi, Elsie. Elsie will be nine months old on the 7th. Today's the 1st of September. Crazy. I don't know where time goes. Why haven't Liz lost any baby weight? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> and then I brush it with a spoolie just to kind of blend it a little better. Brush the hairs up. And that's all I do for my brows. Pretty simple because I do color them. So that helps this process go a little smoother. I guess this piece up here is a little white. Yeah. There we go. Next, I'm going to take boop, 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 boop. Shade and Light Palette by Kat Von D. <gasps> yeah. Oh, it fell. <laughs> Broke a little bit. I take these two lighter shades. I do just a tiny, tiny bit of contouring. Nothing crazy. If you like that, that's fine. But this is an everyday look. I don't need to have. <laughs> Chiseled cheekbones today for Friday at the salon. I just go along my hairline under my cheekbone. That is all. That is all. That is all. I'm going to take this bronzer. Uh, it's been beat up. Milani. It's called Fake Tan. Zero two is the number. I like this bronzer a lot. And I'm gonna take this big fluffy brush. Oh, that's kind of wet because my daughter was playing with it. <laughs> I don't blame her. I gave it to her to occupy her. Right, Elsie. Little bronzer. Never hurt nobody. <gasps> yes, I know. time so that's the face look next I'm going to put on lip sense for you guys oh, sorry this end got a little long because I've been distracted <laughs> by being a mom crazy <laughs> so I'm going to use the oops remover my 
lips pretty much soaked in all of that um, volumizer, which is crazy. I have not been drinking enough water. I'm doing this left-handed. <laughs> giving her a little yogurt pouch right now. Even though she gets day, uh, when she gets to daycare, she gets fed, but I guess we'll feed you a little bit right now since you're just starving. <gasps> Let that soak in for a second and then we will put on our lip scents. Today I'm gonna use the color Caramel Latte. It's a new one I just got. It's a really pretty neutral shade. I think it'll be really pretty for the fall. It is a shimmer, and that's not. I'm gonna use that one today. I gotta grab a, to grab a clean egg. Uh. <coughs> shake it, 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 and then it, open that up, wipe off the extra. <coughs> I'll see. If you're a mom, this won't annoy you, but I'm sorry if you're not. And you're watching this video and you hear my baby in the background. Let that dry. I'm gonna pause because this video is getting long while it dries. Next layer, doing the same thing. Yes, 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 yes. Let that dry. Doing the last layer here. Same thing, I shook it up. And I kind of wiggle it around as I bring it out to kind of get off all that extra because thinner layers is key to a great application. So I bit all off and I take this stuff on the edge there. Really love this color. That's that. Then I'll put my glossy gloss on after that dries. But this is the look my everyday get ready try with my nine month old <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions at any time feel free to ask if you would like any of these products I have them all for sale by Cynogens obviously um, and if you would like to know where you can get any of the other products I can try to find them for you or link them and yeah I hope you have a great day thanks for watching bye